Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Michelle. I'm a keeper here in the Children's Zoo. We are over by our white-nosed kawadi. Those are the animals that you see behind me. We just fed them their lunch. We do have two of them. Their names are Pearl and Star. They've got a striped tail and a mask on their face, just like a raccoon. They are actually in the raccoon family. They're kind of like the South American version of a raccoon, though. And they're a lot more common the further south you go, down into Mexico, Central, and South America. We've got two females. They hang out pretty well. They get along pretty well together. It's because out in the wild, you can actually see lots of female kawadi who will live in big groups. You can actually find up to 40 females all living together. And the males are usually solitary. They tend to spend time all by themselves unless it's breeding season, and then they'll join the big groups of females. They do know a lot of different behaviors. I'm standing here holding something we call a target stick. It's usually one of the very first things we train our animals to do is what we call target. And that means that they actually come and touch their noses to this orange ball, and then they get a treat, like a nice juicy worm, because they did what we asked them to do. They do a lot of things that help us train them a little bit more easily, take care of them a little bit better. Like they'll stand on a scale, that silver kennel over there where their food is. They'll actually go in there on command if we needed to move them to a different location or take them to the vet. And they do a lot of fun behaviors too. They'll actually stand up on their hind legs, they'll turn in a circle, they'll ring a bell. So just some fun things, because they are very intelligent animals. One of their favorite things to play with is stuff that smells. When they're out in the wild, they would, they would just encounter so many different things. And maybe they wouldn't encounter scented paper, but they would encounter other animals that smelled. A lot of times we'll put their food maybe in a box or a paper bag, since they would have to look for food a lot more out in the wild. When they're climbing, they use that tail kind of like a trapeze artist might hold a pole out to keep their balance. They'll actually wave that tail back and forth as they're climbing. They're much more active in the morning. They get fed twice a day and they usually get fed in the morning probably about 10 o'clock, 10.30. So anytime up until that point, they're really, really awake because they're hungry in the morning, they want to eat. Even after they've eaten, they're usually pretty active until it gets really hot outside. 